Ryan Ball says, new song riffs equal strapping young lad love. I know. I found out about that this morning. The fucking riff police pulled me over. Woo, woo. Pull it over, buddy. You got a strapping young lad riff and a machine head song, apparently. That's a infraction. That's a $300 infraction right there. I, uh, I tell you what, shout out to Devin Townsend who uh, tweeted or like somebody sent me something. It might have been an Instagram post or a tweet. I don't actually even know what it was. It was a screenshot. But, uh, but he said, best of luck to those guys. And uh, it was very cool. He was very gracious about that and uh, didn't get all you know <laughs> dramatic or whatever about it, which was cool. And uh, let me tell you, I have seen Strapping Young Lad back in 2005. You know, I think I saw him on like some festival or something. I saw at the Pound in San Francisco. I'll be honest with you, I got a lot of respect for Devin Townsend. I think he's an incredible musician, super gifted producer, fucking lamb of God, As the Palace is Burned is one of the most crushing productions ever. And I would gladly steal a riff from De Devin Townsend, but... I can tell you, I did not steal the riff from Devin Townsend. I, uh, and I wish I did, because I listened to it last night, and I was like, God damn, that does sound a lot like the fucking strapping a lad riff, but alas, that is not where it came from. So, good riff policing, everybody. I tell you what, lucky, good thing it wasn't a sad but true, or enter Sandman, huh? <clears throat> but, uh, yes, but shout out to Devin Townsend. That was a very cool reply. Appreciated it. Heavy metal, like Dimebag said, we're all just sharing riffs. Anyway.